Why are there only KYC videos on The George Show lately? Where are all the YouTube tip videos and the $100,000 sponsorship and channel reviews? Why are we only doing Know Your Channel to help keep your channel safe? Well, it has to do with articles like this one behind me. Right now, top of mind on YouTube and in media is content quality. Because this is such a big, big topic in YouTube to help restore advertiser confidence this year in 2018, and because the media is still writing things, what I consider to be crap, like this, that I'm gonna go over, but I wanna hear your opinion. Tell me what you think down there in the comments below after we go over this article, starting right now. I'm gonna hide myself. Oh, and before I do, this all started because of the media in 2017 sensationalizing issues like PewDiePie being a Nazi supporter. He's not, but they took things like him doing this in out of context and saying, oh, that's him, you know, supporting Hitler. It was crazy stuff that I can't believe worked, but it did and big brands pulled their budgets from YouTube in 2017 because of this sensationalistic, dramatic, clickbait news articles. And these aren't small time publications, guys. These are like New York Times writing things like, you know, YouTube helps fund terror by showing maybe one example that a news reporter found of an inappropriate ad in front of a video that might be considered something bad and supporting terrorism. In my opinion, it's all a big exaggeration that the media used to get a lot of views and hurt a lot of people, including YouTube, in the bottom line. Again, this is my opinion. I'm not speaking for anybody here, just George's own personal thoughts. So enough of that. Let's get on to reviewing this article. So this is an article on Polygon that's claiming, it's an opinion piece, see, opinion that YouTube is turning away from its creators to become a new MTV. And I'll get into why this is why we're doing only KYC videos on The George Show. So let me just zoom this in a little bit. YouTube imagines itself as a retro MTV. Oh, and the link to this article, in case you wanna read it yourself, is down there in the description below. Everything I'm gonna talk about in this video is linked down there in the description below. So check that out if you wanna get more information. This was in a conference meant to sell advertisers on the platform, not by some of the most popular creators like PewDiePie, KSI, or Lisa Koshi. Actually, I don't know Lisa Koshi. I know KSI and PewDiePie. And their stance is logical. The company can't sell against creators who routinely make controversial jokes or go to war with other YouTubers. Okay, fair point. But then the article talks all about the problems with Logan Paul. Yes, he was a problematic creator who made a video about a suicide forest, like they filmed a dead body and showed it on YouTube, and that was certainly not okay. But for that to take us versus them as the theme for this opinion piece is what makes me upset, because they're sensationalizing this. In my opinion, there's a balance to be drawn between what is considered bad behavior on YouTube, and those are the channels we've been unlinking and that have been getting terminated, and, and just making YouTube feel like it's only for premium content. I'm just scro scrolling through this article as I'm talking, but you can read here, for example, uh, there is Ana Akana, is a popular YouTuber who appeared in movies like Ant-Man. They were paraded out on stage, but this is just pushing them closer to typical Hollywood culture than YouTube. Some of today's biggest creators who dominate YouTube culture never came up. The facts are, YouTube is creating new strict policies that are terminating, demonetizing, and YPP suspending channels from the platform. And we are focusing on KYC because that is what we want to prevent happening to you. Freedom has already unlinked over 3,000 channels. So let me tell you the numbers so you know how much we're talking about. Before February 20th, Freedom had over 125,000 channels in its network. YouTube unlinked 96% of that, leaving us with about 9,000 channels. Then we unlinked, since March 1st, about 3,000 more channels, leaving us now less than 6,000 channels in freedom. So this is the most important thing that we can be talking about right now on The George Show. And there are so many examples of 
things that are considered bad acting, according to YouTube, that you may not think is bad acting. So I want to bring all those to you. Click that I in case you missed any of these KYC series. It's a playlist of now four episodes that go over specific channels and why I think they are good or bad to help you decide whether that kind of content is okay on your channel. Don't stay on the gray line, guys. Right now, YouTube is about being squeaky clean, about being advertiser friendly, about being brand safe, and about only doing things that a human does. Don't do any botting. Don't do any automation on your channel. Use humans, not tools, to do activities on your channel. Otherwise, you may be uh, miscategorized and uh, YPP suspended, demonetized, or terminated because of it. Now, we've brought back channels. We've brought back 12% of the channels that had an abuse event in freedom. So YouTube does make mistakes when they do an abuse event and there is a chance that by explaining to YouTube the context of your channel, they will reverse their decision and restore it or reinstate it. And of course, we're here to help you do that. If your channel has an abuse event and you need help, just contact support at freedom.tm and we'll do our best to escalate your context that you tell us to YouTube through our direct connections at YouTube to help them uh, reinstate your channel. So I hope that makes, hope you understand that is why we are only doing KYC. And I want to bring attention in this same article to another really good video, which is right here, where the chief business officer, Robert Kinsel of YouTube, sat down with a YouTuber uh, this is the YouTuber, this is the, uh, where, where are we, how am I going to point to him? Uh, there, this is Robert Kinsel. Uh, click that eye to see the video of this interview, which I think is exactly what YouTube should be doing more of, talking directly through YouTubers that eventually reaches the press and all of us on what's going on with YouTube, what are they thinking behind the scenes, what are their plans for the future? Now. I actually did a little trick there. If you clicked that eye, did you notice what happened? I am playing the video, the original video. I'm not uploading it to my own channel and playing a copy of it. That would be illegal or that would be a bad actoring because I'm duplicating content without permission. So don't do that. But you saw I put it into a playlist. That is a pro tip. Whenever you link to someone else's video, add it to a playlist on your channel with other videos you think are relevant to that one that are on your channel. So you will get an extra few views from people who are watching the video. It will now, after watching that video, go and look right and see what other videos they can watch from your channel. That way you control the suggested videos column, at least the, the top part of it in the playlist. So always use playlists, guys. Whenever you're linking videos on Facebook, on Twitter, on any social media, emails, don't just link the video ID. Link it with a playlist so that people who watch your video will have other videos that you want them to watch next in, in their list of things to watch. Do you do that? Do you have any other pro tips to help everyone grow together? Share them down there in the comments below so we can, say it with me, grow together as a family, which is the spirit of freedom. <laughs> so guys, I have a lot of other updates that I've been meaning to share with you. Uh, updates like how is our company formation in Dubai going? I will share with you what we've written as a business plan so you can start writing your business plan if you think creating a company in Dubai which offers zero tax on all profits and payments to you. That's just the law in Dubai. It's a zero tax country. I, I was so shocked when I first learned about that and my first reaction was, I gotta go get me a company in Dubai. So uh, that was a few months ago and if you click that eye, you'll see the video I made of me in Dubai. So if you haven't watched it, I encourage you to watch it. It's, it's a fun video and they have a free play Pac-Man like mini arcade game machine in the hotel I stayed at. I feature that in my video, which was really the highlight of my trip <laughs> to Dubai. Uh, I'm a gamer, guys. I've always been a gamer. I'll always appreciate games. I just don't have time to play them anymore, sadly. <laughs> uh, it's almost like um, someone who appreciates something 
Um, I was about to say smoking, but that would be a bad example because we don't want to promote anything like smoking. But uh, let's say something you're passionate about, you just can't do it because of time restrictions. Uh, so enough. Uh, but, but I digress. So we have updates to share with you about the Dubai company. We have updates to share with you about the game that I've been talking about, the games that we've been building, and the game studio we've been in talks with. I'd love to share more updates on those soon. And I also want to talk about just how you are doing. I would love to be doing live streams where we can talk one-on-one, -on -one, but until I have time to do live streams, just share your comments down there in the comments below, or click that eye and see the video about your YouTube experience. It's called Double Your Subscribers because in that video, one person who shared his YouTube story doubled his subscribers and I made a video about it to encourage everyone to share their YouTube story, to tell us how you got to YouTube, what is personal about you, and that may help people check you out because they want to see who this person is after you share your personal story. I'll give you an example with me. My personal story is I used to be building a company called TGN that before it became a YouTube company that was trying to be a curse competitor. What that means is we were building wikis and forums around popular games and we weren't doing so well. That was back in 2009 and then I uploaded some videos about World of Warcraft Cataclysm like six months before that expansion launched. A friend of mine gave me three beta keys and thank you friend for that because that's what started TGN as a YouTube network. We saw very quickly how many views World of Warcraft videos were getting on YouTube and we pivoted from being a web-based company for gaming communities to a YouTube video company making videos for World of Warcraft. Remember the uh, TGN World of Warcraft channel guys? <laughs> that's how we started and that's how I started on YouTube and as you know I sold TGN to Broadband TV in 2012. I exited and I founded and started Freedom in 2013 and well, the rest is history. Uh, we are here because of a long series of events that has culminated into freedom what it is today. I can share more details if you're interested. Uh, tell me down there in the comments below if you are, but that gives you a sense of the kind of story I would love to hear from you. And if you want, make a video about it and then send a link to that video in the comments so we can watch that video and not just read the text about your story if you have a lot of details you want to share that doesn't fit into a comment. All right guys, this video is getting a little bit long, but we haven't spoken much and I'm kind of using this opportunity to speak to you on a more personal level and share some of my thoughts, not just tips on YouTube or how to keep your channel safe, but also just so we get to know each other a little bit better, so we feel a bond because that's also the spirit of freedom. You aren't just a number in our network. You're not just a statistic on our financial reports. You're a person and we want to know you. We want to help you. We want to become your coach. And actually that is what our team is now training to do, which is one-on-one -on -one outreaches to be your coach, to check in and see how you're doing, give you some advice or just chat about whatever it is you want to chat about to make you feel like you're not just a number or a statistic in an MCN, you are a person and a person that we care about. I wish we actually had done that sooner, but of course it's a matter of time and staffing. And I hope you'll appreciate these outreaches as they start coming out, uh, hopefully next week. I'll make some videos uh, explaining that process and maybe giving some uh, early results from the people we reach, reach out so you can get a sense for what that means if if you haven't been reached out to yet. All right, guys, uh, anything else we should talk about? Should I do a fireside chat with George like I used to in the past? I'd love to know, you know, the drill. Tell me in the comments below. So who am I? I am your Papa George, your George Sun Pie, your uh, what other names have you guys given me? I, I don't even remember now. It's been so long. It's like a routine I say. So all the beautiful name, all the names you, the beautiful Freedom family, have given me. I am the CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family. Oh, 
And we have a mission statement I should play for you. What do you think of the message and what do you think of the music? We specifically picked the music out to go along with the message and I hope it creates an emotional reaction among all of you, the audience, watching it. Did it? Any suggestions on improved phrasing? Tell me down there in the comments below. Until the next episode, I am George and you've been watching. Click that eye to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.